It's so important for these kids to be out here doing this because they get to connect with each other, they get to connect with the land, and as they, they make these connections, they're sharing stories. They're sharing stories about what they've experienced already in their lives, and they're also creating stories and memories that they'll, they'll share on into the future. Nobody knew there was all this history out here and Diane Souter, you know, I, we can't thank her enough. She pushed and pushed for this place. And she says, absolutely, this place needs to be protected. These petroglyphs tell a story and people just didn't get it. You know, and now our job, and it's a tough job as rangers, is to try to convey that in a way that you can't. You know, you have to create meaning. The history speaks for itself, and I don't think I need to. You know, like, it's already right here, my ancestors are already right here. Over at the start of the first trail, we're gonna look at kind of one of my favorite petroglyph images. And I want you kind of um, to be thinking about some of the images that you see on this trail and what you think they may mean. And we'll kind of talk a little bit more when we get over there. So this is kind of one of the signature petroglyphs of the park. So if you have phones or whatever you have, Spend some time and stop at this petroglyph because this is kind of our emblem of the park. All right, we good? No rattlesnakes yet? Anybody seen a rattlesnake yet? This site is a Civilian Conservation Corps site, um, one of true significance in these mountains. It has a distinct characteristic being built by stone. There are the structures and things around this, such as picnic tables and trails, that were also built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. This site has an LA number, a lab anthropology number, and it's a significant site. And we're hoping that it will become a site that's listed on the National Register and it has yet to have that happen. So the fact that these students are here, learning about it, but also protecting it, um, taking the graffiti off of it, and preparing it for others to enjoy it and be aware of it, is not only a way for them to understand the significance of it, but also to pay it forward a bit and provide for the enjoyment of families and community members as they come here to enjoy this beautiful setting in this historic place. And that's really what we're about. We're creating stewards of the future 
and doing that in this setting of the Civilian Conservation Corps picnic site is critical to what our mission is at the Youth Summit. So we have something called a grip hoist um, and we're going to be setting up something called a high line to pick up the rocks and move them uphill. So I think it was a takeaway can be it's hard work to manage historic properties. It has to be done sensitively. Vandalism and the use of historic properties on public lands is a huge issue with not a lot of staff. And that decision making about what happens can be very complicated it needs to involve a lot of perspectives and a lot of voices. We are at Coronado Historic Site after being up at the Sandia Mountains with the students. We've come back to explore a historic site that's important in Albuquerque to give the students an understanding of what local communities and state communities do to honor historic place. So they've had the opportunity to look at federal sites, public lands, and this is a chance to look at a state historic site and dig deeper into the story of the Jimenez people as well as Coronado here in this region. Some of you may be saying, what is a youth summit? Not those that have been here this week because they're well aware of what a youth summit is and what we do. But what the youth summit is, is fostering the next generation of leaders and stewards for our nation's legacy. It's about leadership, it's about sustainability, it's about opportunity, and it's about stewardship. It's learning about the preservation of historic places and the power of place and then delivering the message and helping to get the youth voice heard. The summit feels a need to foster the next generation of stewards for our historic places, for our stories, and for our public lands. Moreover, we strive to motivate young people to have a love of history as they experience through place, which with increasing parameters on limitations on classroom learning, gives an unparalleled educational and leadership opportunities at historic places. The cultural anthropologist Margaret Mead is quoted as saying, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, concerned citizens can change the world. Indeed is the only thing that ever has. These students are indeed working to positively change the world by learning and sharing stories of the past and understanding how best to save more places and stories important for our memory.